Hello Leo! This is your December forecast. So it's a mixed month with a lot happening. We've got some beautiful trines coming up, which I shall of course share with you. We've got an exact square of Uranus and Pluto once again on the 15th. And towards the end of the month, we've got a very significant change, which is that Saturn moves out of Scorpio and into Sagittarius for about the next three years. So, the first aspect to share with you is that on the 4th of December, we've got a lovely trine between Jupiter in your sign Leo to Venus in your fifth house. What could be a nicer aspect for romance? I don't think there is one. So romance, meeting somebody new, it's also a wonderful aspect for your own business, for doing something in your own business, for being entrepreneurial, maybe for a new idea coming or boosting a business that you already have. It's wonderful for anything creative, for anything involving entertainment, acting, singing, music, anything with this aspect is beautifully favoured on this date. <coughs> Excuse me. On the 5th of December, we've got Mars changing sign <coughs> and coming out of your 6th sign house and going into your 7th house. So Mars in your 7th house. This is a wonderful time for really um, being proactive in relationships. So if there's somebody you really like or you want to get to know, you go out, you make the introduction, don't be shy. Leos, you don't tend to be shy, although I have to say I have met quite a few shy Leos, but generally you don't tend to be. This is really pushing forward out into relationships. It's also a very good time if you want to um, sell something. If you want to persuade somebody, you can be very persuasive with this aspect. And um, of course, make sure you don't go over the top because it is opposite your, uh, the Jupiter in your first house. So there may be a tendency to go over the top, maybe really pushing something at somebody and not knowing quite when to just tone it down a little bit. So just keep that in mind with that aspect. Now, on the 6th of December, We've got a full moon in Gemini, right up here, 14 degrees in your um, 11th house. And this full moon in your 11th house is shining a light for you, Leos, on your dreams, your wishes. What is it that you want for yourself? Are you creating the kind of life that you want? And if you're not, then this is going to highlight the areas that you're not happy with, so you can make those changes. It's also shining a light on your friendships. Yes, there may be emotional issues to come up to be sorted and with a full moon it's, you know, it's a bright light so it will shine its light. So it will shine its light on the good things but also on the things that maybe need to be communicated and need to be shared. And this is also a good time to, for thinking about ways in which you might want to volunteer and help others and maybe become involved in some kind of a cause that's important to you. On the 11th of December, we have got Venus going into your sixth house. So, first couple of weeks, we've got Venus doing a nice job in the fifth house of romance, of self-employment, and also possibly something speculative, a risk-taking venture or some kind of a risk that you do that pays off potentially. Then it goes into your sixth house on the 11th, which is a very good time for a work opportunity to come to you, something nice happening in work, maybe a co-worker uh, putting in a good word for you, maybe a supervisor, but maybe something nice happening in the work area. I know that with Pluto there, certainly since 2008, there's been a lot of changes in work for many of you, a lot of difficulties in some ways, but also important that you are now finding your power in your work and doing what it is that you really want to do. And on the 14th of December, we've got a lovely trine with Jupiter with the Sun. So we originally had it with Venus, now we've got the trine again with the Sun. So this is boosting you to say, Leos, you know, take a risk. Don't 
play it too too safe you are a fixed sign you have a tendency sometimes just to uh, stay in the same place rather than going outside of the comfort zone these are wonderful aspects for really taking a little bit more of a risk you might take more of a risk in love in work in business in your creative energy all these areas will be well aspected on the 15th of the month we've got this exact square again coming up between Uranus and Pluto here it's been going on for a while now but here it comes again on the 15th of the month so this is asking you um, to balance your need for freedom wanting to be free maybe you need to you want to learn something new maybe you want to further your education maybe you feel that there's a problem because it's going to cost so much um, maybe you need to find a different way a creative way of getting that kind of education that you really want maybe somebody's being very controlling in the workplace and you need to really stick up for yourself maybe there's a legal case that needs to get resolved in order so that you can become free so there's a lot of issues that could be addressed by this Pluto square Uranus and it's definitely going to be about finding your freedom because Uranus is in a sister sign to you and making nice aspect to your Jupiter in your sign so this is very much about finding your freedom and your unique voice and boy that's going to be important this month as I carry on for you Leos on the 18th we've got Mercury moving into Capricorn into your sixth house and on the 22nd we've got the Sun moving there and also on the 22nd a new moon in this sixth house so except for Mars who's moved on everything is happening in this sixth house for certainly for the latter part of this month so what does this mean Leo's this is very much putting a, a, a light on your work on how you do your work how productive you are um, how you get along with the people that you're working with whether you want to change the direction of your work all these are possibilities and with the new moon there this is a wonderful time for new beginnings for setting a new intention for what it is you want to create in your work it's also a great time for volunteering your services and helping out because that will be very enriching for you at this time and sometimes when you don't know what you want to do for you just helping somebody else often gets you much more in touch with what it is you want and what you desire so this is a very powerful energy it's also placing a big focus on your health as well this is a great for new beginnings a new regime a new diet a new exercise program maybe getting some body work maybe training yourself in a healing modality an alternative modality all these are great possibilities with the stellium of planets in the sixth house towards the latter part of the month and then last but certainly not least we've got Saturn moving out of your fourth house and coming into your fifth house on the 24th of this month so and there Saturn is going to stay for the best part of another three years so it's a very significant change and uh, the good news is that there is a trine energy happening right now with Uranus and this Saturn and um, the Jupiter in Leo in your sign so if you like it's setting this um, fiery energy off it's, it should be quite inspiring uh, Saturn in Scorpio is, is more difficult more murky Saturn in Sagittarius is more out there so I think for you with it coming into your fifth house one of the most important things about this transit is going to be about how you love yourself how you find ways to really love yourself not looking for that love to come outside of you but how you find that unique voice because boy Leo you're ruled by the Sun you need to express that uniqueness of you the heart energy so this is going to be about the ways in which you have fun and certainly a great time during this transit for at starting your own business for putting the structure in place to have a business of your own this it's wonderful for you may also find that you become responsible for children in some way 
It's not the best aspect for gambling or speculation. And if you must do it, you need to be exceptionally careful and only uh, invest money that you can really afford to lose. But the main thing is, it's going to be about you finding how to love yourself and bring out your special talents. So, Saturn in Sagittarius, I've, I'm doing a video about that whole transit, what it means for all of us globally, so please make sure you take a look at that video. It's going to be a big significant change, we're going to be restructuring our educational systems, we're going to find, I feel, a life on a, a certainty of life on other planets, evidence of it, and um, we'll have some scientific breakthroughs and discoveries, the legal systems are going to change foreign trade will change. It's, it's exciting. It's a big shift and we can plan for it accordingly. You might want to, it's December, it's that time of year again. It's a great time to have a personal astrology reading looking at um, how the aspects in your chart, how you can use them to your best advantage for this coming year. So I'd be delighted to hear from you if you would like to have a personal reading. But otherwise, I, whatever happens, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing. And happy December. Bye for now.